everyone loves fitna, especially when it comes to rumors, slander, or gossip. Bro, you made that act religious? He was at the club last night, he was popping bottles, no dancing way. with a girl. It was bad, man, it was very bad. But the problem arises when we start to hear rumors about ourselves. You won't believe what Rami said about you last night. What? What did he say? He said that you went out clubbing with girls and you were drinking. Are you serious? Man, that guy is the biggest liar. Watch when I see him tomorrow, I'm going to smack his face into the ground. In fact, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he informs us that one of the reasons why someone is punished in their grave is because they were people who used to spread rumors around the town. So if you do find yourself the victim of rumors or slander, here are three steps to help you defuse the fitna before it even erupts. The first thing to do is to learn to ignore the situation, especially if it's not even true and you were free from it. Why, what do you say? Bro, he told me that you- Do you know what? Don't worry about it. In fact, this advice is even more so important to those that hear such gossip. You have an obligation not to spread such gossip in the first place. Learn to shut it down from the get-go. Bro, he was going crazy, bro. No way that's him, bro. You probably got him mixed up with someone else. I know that guy, you shouldn't be spreading rumors about him. If someone comes to you with gossip about someone else, defend the honor of your brother or sister so that perhaps Allah will defend your honor on the day of resurrection. The second thing to do if someone comes to you with slander about yourself is to thank Allah. Yes, thank Allah for such situations. The truth is all of us have sins. All of us have shortcomings that no one knows except Allah. You should thank Allah that he has protected you and he has concealed these sins from the eyes of people and made them busy with things which you are completely innocent of. Not only for this, but you should thank Allah for you have now inherited good deeds from someone you probably don't even know. Every time someone slanders you, you gain their good deeds. You should be happy and you should thank you know Allah. I got his good deeds. <laughs> the third and final thing is to make dua for this person that has slandered you. I swear to God, man, this guy, you know what? May Allah punish him. Not that Allah destroys them, no. but that Allah guides them may Allah and him. fixes their ways. May Allah guide him and may Allah change him. The truth is, they've been good to you. They've given you their good deeds. Do something good in return and ask Allah to guide them. I hope these tips have helped you. May Allah help us all and get rid of fitna all around the world. Assalamu alaikum. Thank <laughs> you.